You're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Linda, your host, familiar face to Brockton Community Access viewers, Jimmy Pereira. How are you, Jimmy? Thank Good you, to sir. see you. Happy to be here. You're here in your role yes. at Old Colony Planning Council. Correct. Tell us your title. I forget. I am the Community and Transportation Planner at Old Colony Planning Council. There we go. And what we're trying to do, what Old Colony Planning Council is trying to do, is work on bicycle, pedestrian safety right. and activity and yes. stuff like that. And you've already had a cup, a meeting yes. or two, and you have another meeting coming up. Tell Correct. us what, tell us what you're here for. Yeah, so I'm here to talk about the uh, bicycle pedestrian advisory committee and uh, all the other works that go along with that. So, for example, the bicycle pedestrian connectivity study, uh, which is a report that looks at not just Brockton but the greater uh, Old Colony region and uh, how we connect uh, uh, bicyclists and pedestrians to each community and also within each community. Also, so the advisory committee will help look at different issues that bicyclists and pedestrians may face and help bring that, uh, those issues to, uh, to the forefront. Uh, we will also meet with the Joint Transportation Committee uh, where those issues will be addressed um, at that point also. Brockton has some bike pedestrian yes. lanes, corridors, some lanes. lanes. I wasn't right. sure what to yeah, call yeah, them. Yeah, if you go lanes. down on Center Street, right, right, right. right in the middle of the heart mm -hmm. of Brockton, mm -hmm. and I guess the goal is to Connect. have more exactly. places connected. If, right. you, if you think about Brockton, we. I mean, we have our beautiful park where right. people ride bicycles in there. Right. Right. Um, we do have some nice green space mm -hmm. in different parts mm -hmm. of the city. You know, the Salisbury exactly. Park downtown. Right, right. The and park. Um, you don't think of bicycles as much here. You go into Boston and you right. see bicycles yeah. every place. Like and even, even with a congested right. city with traffic like right. that, they're all over the place. Exactly. Brookline, some yes. of the Cambridge, some of, Cambridge, some of the right. towns. So, um, what are you hoping to get? You're you're looking for citizen input and exactly. people to be involved. Right, right. And we want people to, yeah, to make sure that uh, they're involved and their issues are are addressed. Uh, and also, we can provide feedback and assistance to the elected officials, to the uh, uh, DPW and other decision makers, planners as well, such as myself and how to uh, Im implement these suggestions, implement these uh, improvements to the bicycle network. Uh, and you look at uh, Center Street, for example, um, we are looking at the design and how to connect those designs and make sure that it's done uh, in the right way uh, and make sure that it continues and not be orphaned off. So connecting it to different uh, routes, such as West Elm Street, which is another street that has right. bicycle lanes also. And the city of Brockton has great framework for that. If you look at the map, which I look at maps every day, it's a, it has a grid pattern uh, network. So it's not a freeway like Boston where you have freeform streets. We have a grid pattern and we uh, should be able to uh, access that and utilize that grid pattern. Makes it easier. Now I'm looking at this flyer. There's a yes. date coming up on June 12th. It's yes. a Tuesday night at 6. Exactly. And it's at, it, it's not at OCPC. No. It's at our main library. Exactly. Exactly, right. Which yeah. I'm glad you guys are of using course. because that's a community center right over there. Six o'clock? Yes, 6 p.m. Uh, and uh, be ready to uh, learn and, uh, and be ready to advocate and uh, get engaged with the uh, Planning Council and the uh, greater uh, Old Colony region. I have a feeling, uh, you know, at least one or two city councils might, yeah. uh, might be bicycle enthusiasts. Right. I know some of them are walkers and, and know, joggers. Exactly. Um, I need to get back up on a yeah. bike. I learned a lesson once. <laughs> I went on a trip with some friends down to Nantucket. I okay. never knew how yeah. hilly right. that community is. And I'm like, oh, yeah, yeah. get on a bike, yeah. you can ride it again. Yeah. Not if you hadn't been on <laughs> yeah. since wow. 15 years. Right, right, right. Uh, my other friend Beautiful. rented a moped, and he oh, was wow. the smartest one in the group See, because he go. knew about the hills. Yeah. I didn't know about yeah, the hills. Prepared. My prepared, wife and I have so. been talking about bikes. Yeah, um, and there's electrical bikes also, so there's assist yeah. assisted pedaling also. So technology and the advancements made in technology has helped a lot of people get back onto the bike as well. And so. who knows, it might be Uber on bicycles yeah, right. or Lyft. For, Someday. For, for, <laughs> for, so um, this is your job, but it yes. seems like it's a lot of fun. It is. I mean, this is why I got into planning, really, because I wanted to do something where it, I don't see it as work. I see it as something that I enjoy doing. And, you know, if you find something that you love doing, you won't have to work a day in your life. So uh, that's how I see it. Community building, community development, uh, bicycling, active living as well, and uh, just mode shift, making sure that people know that you don't have to be uh, contained in a vehicle. About 80% of uh, commuters drive by by, uh, by, uh, by car, and that's in a single occupancy vehicle, meaning that it's just them alone. Um, so even just carpooling can help, but getting out on the bicycle is a lot better because it helps not just um, your pocket by saving money on gas, but also saves your health as well too. So, oh, yeah. and it's a big invest investment for uh, employers as well, and making sure that their employees are there uh, for a longer time, uh, especially if they're li working in a sedentary uh, uh, work environment. As also, when I was younger, when I was a high school student um, right. and even junior high school, my folks had a place down at Hull. 
Right, Hull was right. a wonderful community to bike. I agree. Go, go from Hull to Hingham, but I, right. I couldn't have gotten around. I didn't have a license yet. Right, right. And uh, it's, it's a pretty self-contained area. It's right. pretty safe. My folks got me this reflective oh, orange man. bicycle. The only problem I had with that bike is it was a, it, like dogs yeah, loved right. the orange. I, I got attacked <laughs> by a German Shepherd Jeez, once. That was oh, not wow. a good experience. Yeah, no, that's scary. But I rode right. every place. Uh, nice. That's when Hall had Paragon Park way back okay. in the, back wow. in the day. Right, right. But it was a wonderful community. Yeah. And you look West Elm Street is yes. a beautiful it street is. in beautiful Brockton. Homes, beautiful, beautiful homes, space, and sidewalks. there's a lot of nice areas it in Brockton. Is. People. I know. Trash the city way too much, right, and right. Uh, we we have natural resources exactly. here, and right. nice neighborhoods, and yeah. main roads, yeah. and you know um, I, I saw the bat buses now yes. have a bike rack exactly. right on the front. The newer buses that they just came out with, correct. All, bu all buses now have um, bicycle racks, and and that's what it's about. It's about marketing and making sure that you uh, capitalize on your assets and uh, making sure that you're reinforcing the idea that we can do it here, uh, and it's already being done. So if people want more information ahead of time, how would they find out? Uh, so they could contact me at uh, jperera at ocpcrpa.org. That's J-P-E-R-E-I-R-A at ocpcrpa.org. Or they could contact me at 508-583-1833. And please visit the website, www.ocpcrpa.org for more information. Okay, that's perfect. We'll put that up on the screen so Definitely. people can see it. Do, does OCPC have a Facebook site? We do, we do, okay, and well, it's all kind of planning. I'm going to send you the link, yes, so you can post it on there. And this is not the only meeting that's going no, to happen. This is more. the the June one, and right. you, we'll bring you back and yeah, talk about it most again. Certainly, most certainly, there's a Brockton uh, ad hoc bicycle pedestrian advisory committee. You can also visit the the uh, uh, Facebook page on that Brockton ad hoc bicycle pedestrian uh, advisory committee and that's going to be the component that's Brockton centric so if you want to focus on everything Brockton uh, you'll be able to uh, voice your opinions there but also making sure that we connect to our neighboring communities and that's what the uh, regional bicycle pedestrian advisory committee is there for so sounds good to me definitely thank thanks you, thank Jimmy you. good to see thank you thank you for having me thanks for coming Always on a pleasure same here you're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Lindy, your host. Stay tuned for more events, places, people, and faces right here in the City of Champions.